Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. One is the smallest positive integer. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using axioms one, two, four, and five. Axioms one and two are just the commutative and associative laws. Axiom four tells us about the real number zero, and we have x plus zero is equal to x for all real numbers x. Axiom five tells us every real number has a negative, and for every real number x, x plus the negative of x is equal to zero. And using the concept of the negative of a real number, we define the operation of subtraction, so that for all real numbers a and b, we define a minus b to be a plus the negative of b. Now, our real number system is equipped with a subset that we call the set of positive real numbers, and it's denoted as R plus. And using the set of positive real numbers, we define the greater than relation and the greater than or equal to relation as follows. Given any two real numbers, A and B, we say A is greater than B if A minus B is a positive real number. And we say a is greater than or equal to b if a is greater than b or a is equal to b. Now, in regards to the greater than relation, we have proven the following two facts. We have proven for all real numbers x, x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than 0, and given real numbers a, b, and c, we have a is greater than b if and only if a plus c is greater than b plus c. And also, we have defined the notion of smallest element of a set of real numbers. And the definition is as follows. Suppose s is a subset of real numbers and b is an element of s. We say b is a smallest element of s if, for all x in s, x is greater than or equal to b. In fact, we have shown that smallest elements are unique. So in this case, b is the smallest element of s. And we're trying to prove that 1 is the smallest positive integer. But then, what are the positive integers? Well, in our real number system, we have defined the positive integers as a subset of the real numbers. And we have shown that 1 is a positive integer. So if we plug this information into the definition of smallest element, then to say that 1 is the smallest positive integer means for all positive integers x, we have x is greater than or equal to 1. Now instead I'm going to call this variable n, because when dealing with positive integers, I like to call this variable n. So to prove that 1 is the smallest positive integer, this is what we're trying to prove. Now, in proving this theorem, we're also going to be using two results that we have proven about the positive integers, and they are as follows. We have proven for all positive integers n, n is equal to 1, or n minus 1 is a positive integer, and we have proven every positive integer is a positive real number. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. So to prove 1 is the smallest positive integer, we want to prove for all positive integers n, n is greater than or equal to 1. And to prove that, let's give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n. From here, the whole goal is to show that n is greater than or equal to 1. And to show that, we're going to split this up into two cases. Either n is equal to 1, or n is not equal to 1. And in the other case, we're going to show that n is greater than or equal to 1. So let's start with the case where n is equal to 1. Now, if n is equal to 1, then n is greater than 1 or n is equal to 1. The reason why this statement is true is because at least one of its counterparts is true. Namely, we have n is equal to 1. But this is precisely what it means by definition for n to be greater than or equal to 1. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So, this completes the case where n is equal to 1. Now let's consider the case that n is not equal to 1. Well then, applying L3, we have n is equal to 1 or n minus 1 is a positive integer. 
But since we know n is not equal to 1, this eliminates the possibility that n is equal to 1. So we must have that n minus 1 is a positive integer. But then, according to L4, every positive integer is a positive real number. So in particular, n minus 1 is a positive real number. But then, according to L1, if we take x to be n minus 1, well then, n minus 1 is a positive real number if and only if n minus 1 is greater than 0. So since we know n minus 1 is a positive real number, we can conclude that n minus 1 is greater than 0. So then, according to L2, we can take this inequality and add 1 on both sides. Just like that. But then, this should simplify down to n, and this should simplify down to 1. And we can show that that happens by applying axioms 1, 2, 4, 5, and the definition of subtraction. First, by definition of subtraction, n minus 1 is equal to n plus the negative of 1. And then, by the associative law, axiom 2, we can move the parentheses around negative 1 plus 1. And then by axiom 1, the commutative law, we can replace negative 1 plus 1 with 1 plus negative 1. And then by axiom 5, 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. And then by axiom 4, n plus 0 is equal to n. And then by axiom 1, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 0. But then by axiom 4, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So these equalities tell us that the left-hand side of this inequality is equal to n, and the right-hand side of this inequality is equal to 1. So this tells us that we have n is greater than 1. And since n is greater than 1, that tells us n is greater than 1 or n is equal to 1. But this is precisely what it means by definition for n to be greater than or equal to 1. That's exactly what we wanted to show, so we're done. As you can see, we have in either case, n is greater than or equal to 1. So, if n is any positive integer, then it follows that n is greater than or equal to 1. So, we have proven exactly what we wanted to prove, and this proves that 1 is the smallest positive integer. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.